In this video, we will be looking at combining ratios. It's very similar to the last video in that it uses sharing values within ratios, but there is a little step we have to do before this. So let's have a read of our question. In a pencil case, there are only red, blue and green pens. The ratio of red to blue is 4 to 3, and the ratio of blue to green is 9 to 5. There are 36 red pens. How many green pens are there in the pencil case? So first of all, make a note of the three variables we have. We have red, we have blue, and we have green. Now the ratios we know are red to blue is 4 to 3, and blue to green is 9 to 5. Now, if you have a look at what we know, we know there are 36 red pens. However, this doesn't really help us because the thing we want to work out is this value here, and they're not connected at the moment. So there's a very simple step we can do. Now, ratios are just like fractions or simultaneous equations in that sense, that whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the whole thing to make sure it's still the same. So you may notice the blue is represented in both of the ratios. If we multiply the top ratio by 3, then they are going to be matching in terms of both being 9. So 4 times 3 gives us 12, and that means our final ratio when we combine them is going to make 12 to 9 to 5. Now we can use this because we know there are 36 red pens. If there are 36 red pens split between 12 units of the ratio, 36 divided by 12 gives us 3. So that means each of those buckets that we talked about in the last video has a value of 3 pens. That means if we have a look over here, 5 of those buckets are going to be 5 multiplied by 3, giving us 15 green pens. And that is question 1 done. So we're going to use a very similar idea for question 2, but you'll notice we have one slight difference. So in a cake recipe, there is only flour, sugar and butter. The ratio of flour to sugar is 2 to 3. And the ratio of sugar to butter is 5 to 1. Now this time you'll notice these don't multiply into each other very easily. However, we can multiply this one by 5 and this one by 3 to make the sugar, both of them, 15. In doing that, we're going to have 2 is going to become 10. The sugar is going to become 15 in both ratios, which is what we want. And the butter is going to become 3. And again, this is our final ratio. So now we just have to sub in the numbers and see what we get. So we are told there is 30 grams of butter. And that is split between 3 units of the ratio. So that means 1 unit is going to equal 10 grams because 30 divided by 3. If 1 unit equals 10 grams, we are asked how much flour is required, which is 10. So 10 multiplied by 10 you are going to need 100 grams of flour, and that is your final answer. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that helped.